What's up, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Today, we are going to talk about Lindsay's obsession of me. about our relationship because we are in a relationship and just to preface this video Sam loves to be on camera so if he just won't stop talking and won't stop like just getting his face in the camera it's because he loves this he thrives off of attention as you can tell it's my zone. <laughs> zone. okay so we're gonna start and kind of walk you through how everything happened right babe right Okay, so this is my timeline of a relationship. I think it'll be kind of fun to see if ours like match up. Ready? Okay. okay, so the first time I believe Sam and I met each other was when he moved down to Provo, Utah and started going to Timview High School, which is where I was going, and we met in math class. Correct. So I'm in math class. I just remember me like just seeing him and being like, oh, whatever, he's not that cool. <laughs> But you thought it was so hot, didn't you? Yeah. You were like, wow, can't get my eyes on that girl. Couldn't stop talking about you. <laughs> Sam at the time was a high school football player. Super cool. I was on dance company, so I would go and like perform at the half times. He asked me to junior prom and I said yes, obviously, because I was like, yeah, this is going to be super fun. We were kind of friends, but we weren't like, we weren't super close but I knew him, I thought he was cute. So there was one night where we took his truck and we'd always go like drive to a cool, there's a ton of really cool like scenic lookout points in Utah. So we drove it up this one, it's actually like past a cemetery gate and then like over in this really cool field. It's not actually at the cemetery, not, not that. But we drove up this place and we went and parked and we were there for maybe like, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours. By the time we came back down, the gate had been locked shut. So we were locked into this like um, area up in the hills a little bit, but it was maybe like a 10 minute walk from my house, my parents' house. So we're like, okay, we'll just walk home. So we start walking home and on the way home, he like held my hand, put his arm around me. I'm like, ooh, we're gonna kiss. So we get to, ooh, we're gonna kiss. <laughs> so we get to my house, we get my car, and then I go to drive him home. And we like pull up to, um, we pull up into his neighborhood, we get out of the car, I hug him and he walks away and I get back in my car and then I see him stop and turn around and I like open the door and he's like, do I not get another hug? And I was like, oh, yes, it is. You turned back around, you turned back around. You like kind of walked away and then you came back. I don't know. You came, so he comes back and I like, after he said that, I was like, heart pounding, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's gonna kiss me. So and then, then we hug. down the car and <laughs> no, me. No, it's I what happened. I remember, because I was surprised. This was is like, what oh. happened. We were hugging and we went like this, and like, we looked back and it was like a second of eye lock and he didn't go in for the kiss and I panicked and I was just like, <laughs> and I went in really fast and kissed him. And it was pretty awkward and funny and it was like we smashed faces and then I got in the car and I screamed and called all my friends and Sam probably went straight to sleep and was like, couldn't wait to get out of there. <laughs> We started hanging out a little bit, and by hanging out, meaning like Sam would come over to my house after I got home from dance, he'd pick me up in his car, we'd drive somewhere and we'd talk. And we'd actually just talk. I mean, later on, we'd start to just make out, but we talked for a first <laughs> I remember- did not do that. Never, we never made out in the car. I remember one night, do you remember when you came and picked me up and we sat in your car for like five hours and talked outside my house? He has a really bad memory. Anyways, that's what we did. So he'd pick me up and we'd, just hang out in the car and chat, and then- You'd always try to make out with me, I'd be like, no, I'm not into that. <laughs> that what would happen? <laughs> no, not even close. But we went to junior prom, and by then we were like a full on couple, like full on couple. Everybody knew full it. On. Not full half on, not half on. Not a quarter on. <laughs> full on. 100% on. 100% on. We go to junior prom, Sam had a cane because that was like his cool thing that he wanted to do. It's very stylish. But before we started dating, when I say he easily kissed every single friend that I knew, you did. Every single you did. one. He even kissed, this is fun for everybody, he kissed Jenna Johnson before 
and it's a baby. It's not bad. It's not bad. He kissed like 50 people in high school. I kissed, I've kissed six people my whole life. That's pretty intense. I know. <laughs> but we both graduated. Sam at high, at the graduation stole um, some of those yellow, like, what are they called? Oh, uh, what are those called? The honors. The honors, honors cords. honor cord. Sam found a box of them and stole them and put on like five, even though he didn't graduate with honors. What are they called a person that graduates with? Like, Valedictorian. Yeah. He had like five of them on and I've worked really, cause I was a 4.0 student in high school. I was very into my grades and everything. And Sam, on the other hand, is one of the smartest people, but just did not really apply himself in high school. <laughs> so he had bad grades and did not deserve the honor courts, but he wore them anyway just for fun. So we graduate and then right after high school, I actually got on So You Think You Can Dance. So I think I had like maybe two or three weeks in the summer after we graduated at home and then I went straight out to LA. We obviously still dated and um, we did, that was kind of like the start of our long distance, which lasted a long time. I went to college, <laughs> she went to dance, we did long term relation, long distance relationship. Long term, it, it is long term because we're well. married. <laughs> Three years of that goes by. Yep. We don't need to do every detail. No, we do. No, yeah. Okay, no. I'll do a really quick version. And so, then in 2016, we went to Africa and I asked her to. No, no. Yeah. We got married in 2015. No, we didn't. Yes. <laughs> no, we did not. We did not get married in 2015. I mean, did. I don't know. Maybe we did. Yeah. <laughs> Um, after I did So You Think You Can Dance, I found out I was being asked to be on Dance with the Stars, so I moved out to LA. I lived with a friend, uh, Brooklyn Palmer, actually, for like two years in an apartment. Sam lived here in Utah. Um, we dated all through my first like six seasons on Dancing with the Stars, I want to say. The year after high school, after it was like, we're not in high school anymore, we're not even really in the same state, but we still are like choosing to be with each other and we were making it work. I feel like that's when we realized like, oh yeah, this is the real deal. You're stuck with we me. We were full on at that point. <laughs> full on, almost engaged. So we do, um, I do Dancing with the Stars and then this was 2014. Um, his family was taking a trip to Africa and I got invited. I was so excited. This was like the first, I think, first like real family vacation I was going on with your family. So we go to Africa and um, Sam proposed to me in a tent in Africa. It was very, very sweet and very private. Literally no one was around. I honestly don't even know if you knew you were gonna do it in that moment. <laughs> he just had the ring in his backpack and he's like, in like the right time. Let's go for it. I remember we walk in the tent after our full day and I turn around and look at him and it looked like he had seen a ghost because he was like <laughs> so stressed and I was like what happened and then he got down on his knee and he proposed to me and it was very cute and fun and then the rest of the trip I was like holding my ring like don't get hurt nothing bad happened. I just didn't want to hold on to the ring anymore because I was like I have to do it. <laughs> yeah that's what happened. <laughs> But yeah, it was, that was awesome. So that was December of 2014. And then we decided that we were gonna get married in June, which was like six months later. Because after I got back from Africa, I started another uh, sp uh, spring season. So I was gone for all the wedding planning. We weren't living together. We weren't really even seeing each other for all the wedding planning. And then finally, June, what day? There you go. June 18th, he knows that he just likes to mess with me. June 18th rolls around and we get married in the Salt Lake City Temple here in Utah. It was a great day, very fun, very hot. It was a hot day, very hot day, but it was so fun. Do you remember anything about our wedding day that you wanna share? What was your favorite part? Um, I remember I was late. Yes, oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> we're supposed to meet at the temple at this time to be taken back and do our thing. And I haven't heard from Sam this morning, but I thought that was normal. I didn't think he would like text me on our wedding day. Like I think we were just gonna be like, oh, we'll see you there. So we're in the lobby waiting and it's like, we're there right when we're supposed to be there. Then like 10 minutes go by. I'm like, where is he? And then like 20 minutes go by and the temple worker, I remember came up to us and was like, 
is your um is your groom almost here? And I was like, um, yeah, I think so. I was freaking out. Like in my mind, Sam had second thoughts. He was so scared. And he was like, he turned back around. Like I was certain that he was bailing. He was backing out of the wedding. I was so nervous. Turns out. I got a flat tire. He got a flat tire on the way to the temple. It was a sign. <laughs> sign shouldn't turn back then. <laughs> but I remember being so anxious and like hot and sweating. And my mom's like, it's okay. They're going to be here soon. I was like, he's not coming. And so he turns up. It was great. One thing that was really cute was <laughs> we did vows. So we did a, um, we had our temple wedding, but then we also did a, like a ring ceremony. And that's where we did our vows. And Sam was so good at his vows. And I kind of sucked, honestly. I wasn't that great, but Sam was so good. And it was very cute. But I'm in love with you. <laughs> and I can't wait to spend this forever with you. This is the best day of my life. And I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I don't know what I would do without you. You're my best friend and my biggest support. Okay, so obviously then we go on our honeymoon. We went to Loreto, Mexico. It was like the, is that how you say it? Loreto, Laredo? Laredo. Laredo. It's a very, very small location in Mexico. Like I think there was two resorts on the entire, in the whole city, right? It was very small, very secluded. It was fun. We had a lot of fun. I would say the highlight of our, of our honeymoon was when we went deep sea fishing, which was Sam's. Is that your highlight? Well, yeah, when we caught that ginormous fish and then brought it home. It was so big. So obviously, Sam, if you haven't learned this by now, Sam is the most outdoorsy person of life. Like, you can't go anywhere without him thinking of the options of outdoor options. Like, you just can't. So we're going to Mexico for a honeymoon, and we're like, we're going to relax, hang out by the beach, whatever. Sam, of course, has to look up what outdoor activity he can do, and fishing was something that he wanted to do. I was kind of like, I don't really want to do it. I get really seasick, like very, very, very seasick. <clears throat> but my dad got us those patches, and I took like whatever the drama means stuff. So we go for it. We got a boat all to ourselves. But essentially, we got a ginormous fish, and they gave us some filet of the fish, is that what you would say? We went back to our hotel and the chefs at the hotel prepared for us and it was actually pretty good. I'm not a huge seafood kind of person, but this was pretty good. But that was pretty cool and it was fun because Sam loved it. And I don't think he would have been as excited about our honeymoon if we hadn't. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> good job. Good answer. Um, we come home. We, at this point, knew that I was going to be going back out to LA for another season in the fall. So. We lived in LA together for all the seasons, but what we would do is we would go down to LA for the season, which is like three months, then we'd come back home and we'd live at Sam's parents' house. Stop after I graduated. <clears throat> yeah. Because yeah. Sam was doing online school all of this time, so it was perfect because he could travel with me and he could kind of be wherever, but still get his schooling done. Um, we did a couple seasons going back and forth, and then Sam actually came on tour with me one year, which was, because um, I did like two tours without you. Yeah, and you would just be home in Utah. But finally, the tour company that I work with um, said, hey, if you want, we can give Sam a job on the road. And we were like, that sounds awesome. Because at this point, he was still doing online school. so he And he was traveling a lot with me, so it's not like he was gonna have a job anywhere else. So he came out on the road with me, and he did the meet and greet, which is, if you know Sam, the funniest job for him. He would meet and greet people and help them meet and greet us was so much fun. So he worked on the road with me on tour while doing school. Um, we did a few more seasons. And then when Sam graduated, he uh, basically stayed here permanently in Utah. And I've been going back and forth to LA to do the shows. I'm currently on tour. I'm actually home right now for like two days, but currently on tour, Sam's back here at home. We bought this house that we're living in um, December of 2018. Yeah, so we've been in here for a little over a year. But it's our favorite and we love it. And this is, we've decided that Utah is going to be our home base. I think this is where we want to have our kids, where we want to just raise our family. And Sam works here full time, so this is our place. But yeah, that was really long. Sorry. <laughs> Way longer than 15 minutes. Sam said he just wanted to make out instead of talk, so let's just do that. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching if you watched this thanks whole time. Thanks for watching time. my channel. Subscribe below, or is it above? <laughs> I don't actually know. <laughs> I think it's subscribe below. I don't know. Do you have anything else to say? Nope.
you want to tell everybody how much you love me? Because I know you didn't get I a chance. I love you. Bye, everybody. I've got something on my mind I bet you know what I'm thinking about You know I can't stop loving you Every time when you're looking at me It feels like my heart is keeping on beat, yeah You know I can't live without you You make me crazy In a good way So come on, baby Let's talk Let's talk about love Let's talk about love, yeah baby come and dance with me